Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Hey there, welcome back. Standing here with my good friend and fellow carpenter, Scott Schaefer from San Juan Carpentry. Scott, this is one beautiful log bed. Thanks, Mitchell. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Uh, well, this is a twin size made from uh, aspen with uh, some elk chew and some burl mixed in here. So it kind of gives a lot of cool features. And I use hand carved mortise and tenon. I was going to say, man, these yeah. mortise and tenon joints are beautiful. Yeah, I take a lot of pride in my tenons. Uh, actually, that's what actually sets me apart from other builders is I hand carve every single one so of these. So a few weeks ago, Scott came to me with a blueprint he made for this custom log clamp. Scott, why don't you tell us why it's important to have this? Well, on these bigger pieces with uh, beds, especially with, I mean, this is just a twin, so you imagine like a queen or even a king. This rail can get really long. Uh, a lot of times your, your spindles can get long, uh, or maybe you want to make a really tall bar stool, right? And they don't fit on the lathe to carve your tenon, so you need something else to hold them really sturdy, and this log clamp is great for that. It's compact, it's small, you can bolt it to your bench, and uh, it's really easy to take the log in and out. But even if you're not going to make uh, your tenons by hand with a, with a carving knife or with a putting knife or whatever you do, um, even with a tenon cutter, this clamp will hold the log still, and you can use you know the large whole hogs or whatever for your for your tenon cutters. So it's great for for both uh, techniques. Right on. Well, guys, I've taken time to record step by step how to make one of these. In fact, let's take a look at that footage right now. This right here, we're going to use this. We're going to drill a hole and we'll be able to tighten that down and keep that from moving up and down. Alright, so it looks like we've got everything we need cut for this project. And I'll lay this out here and Come on over and I'll show you all the parts and pieces. Right, of course, you're going to be able to find this complete cut list and all these dimensions with all this stuff you see here in the PDF, the downloadable PDF. Okay, here you can see we're installing this nut and we've got it in there where it will only tighten up that much. So that allows that to, uh, that to spin, spin freely there. Well, that about wraps it up. It's a good thing you got us this detailed blueprint, Scott. That's a lot of parts and pieces, man. Let's set this thing over there. And why don't you show us how it works? It's pretty easy, Mitch. All you gotta do is bolt it down. Throw your log on there. Tighten down and uh, get some work done. Hey, Scott. I'm 
I'm so happy I can help you out with this project. Hey man, I appreciate the help because this is going to make my life a whole lot You guys life. can go to sandalonecarpentry.com or logfurnituretowto.com and get your own PDF version of the blueprint for this uh, clamp to make your own for only $2.99. Or if you'd like, I'll be happy to weld you one up for a measly $150 bucks plus shipping. It's worth it. So I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. You can subscribe to Log Furniture How To by clicking on that link right down there or San Juan Carpenter YouTube channel by clicking on this link right there. We'll see you again next week, guys. See ya.